So you're sewing face masks like crazy, or you've created a yummy pepper sauce that everybody loves, and now you want to sell it to the world. How do you get your products on Amazon? How do you get your products sold on Walmart's website? I'm Khalila Reynolds, and this is Money Moves, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank. Today, I have e-commerce consultant Barrington McIntosh to tell us how to do it. Okay, so I'm joined by Barrington McIntosh. He's an e-commerce consultant. Barrington, hi. How are you doing? I'm great. Presidential times. I know, right? So you're an e-commerce consultant. You consult for places like Amazon, Walmart, various places. Tell me a bit about yourself and what you do. We started our online journey about 10 years ago. And we started on eBay. Then from doing that, my whole thing was, I was going to school in the US, coming back to Jamaica, and I'm like, what can I sell online? And then I came back to and our local products, took a picture, posted it online, and got my first sale. And I was hooked. I was like, you mean you can actually post, a, post something online and somebody will buy it, pay you US dollars, and you ship it to them? That started our journey into online and e-commerce, and that has grown I mean, leaps and bounds where we're now going out to Amazon conferences to speak. Wow. Every year to speak at Amazon conferences to help persons to see the opportunities in online, how to grow online. Well, that's something that we're very interested in right now, especially with these times. A lot of people have had to pivot their business strategy. And you have people who are, you know, venturing into some type of manufacturing for the first time, maybe making some face masks and trying to get them sold. And you may be thinking, how can I get this product onto Amazon? Since so many people now are turning to that format to, to shop. So how do you do it? What's the magic? You know, there are two ways to get on Amazon. If, first of all, it's either partnering with someone who already has an Amazon account or you can get set up on Amazon yourself. The big catch to that is that Amazon will not allow sellers from Jamaica. So if you're from Jamaica, you cannot sell on Amazon. You can buy all day long, but you cannot sell on Amazon as being a Jamaica. But that never stopped us before because we always create, we always innovate, and we're gonna find a way to make it happen. Do you know why that is though? Why they don't allow sellers from Jamaica? I, I really can't tell you at this time. I don't know if it has to do with security. I really don't know. But if you look on the list, there's a list that they provide with over 150 countries that are eligible to trade. You can come on, you can register your store, you can use a local bank account, local card. But unfortunately, Jamaica is not one of those. But guess what? Our products are top on Amazon. We have some of the best products on Amazon. So my thing is, hmm, since we have products that everybody in the U.S. is demanding, how can we get it on there? So my initial was to partner with someone who is in the U.S. And that was how I got onto Amazon, got my start. And then later on down, I opened a company in the U.S. And now we're trading with that company. So we know there's opportunity. It's not going to be, we're not going to take a no. And Jamaicans are very creative. So we're going to make it happen. All legal, but we're going to make it happen. Is it only if you have a, a Jamaican bank account? So let's say you are based in Jamaica, you're selling Jamaican products, but you have a U.S. bank account. Would you be able to do it then? Yes, but they also want to know that you are a U.S. person. So you can have a U.S. bank account, but they want to know you're a U.S. person. So they're going to ask for your passport number or maybe a driver's license. They want to know something that ties you to being a U.S. person because that's what they call beneficial owner. They want to know who owns the company. Is this mm. person going to pay taxes? So that's the key. That's what they want to know. And the, and the beautiful thing is, if you are, let's say you're from Canada, you're good because that's North American. If you are from the UK, you can do it because you know they do accept persons from the UK. It's just they don't accept persons from Jamaica to sign up being a Jamaica. Oh, so if you have if you have dual citizenship, for example, you may be able to do that. Then, if you have citizenship in a country uh, for one of the one hundred and fifty that you listed, then you may be able to take advantage of that. That's it. That's it. That is 
or you partner with someone who is living in one of those countries and have them set up the account and you manage it, you run the account. And that's what we teach, I mean, all the time to persons like, hey, you can do that's this from idea. wherever you are in the world. Right. So how did you do that? How do you find such a partner? You know, you think about it. Think about the family member that you have in the US and maybe they're there, they're going to work nine to five. They don't have any interest in online business. They have zero interest. They want to go to work nine to five. That person, if you have a good relationship with them, that could be a good start. But the easiest way to get your products onto Amazon is to really partner with someone who's already selling on Amazon. So you know Amazon seller and you're saying, hey, I have great products. I just don't have a presence online. I would love for you to display my products in your store. That is the fastest way. You could have your products seen, I mean, shown to a million of persons around the world in a week. And then you start to ship out because the number one problem for Amazon sellers is good inventory. And that's what we have here in Jamaica. Very good inventory that people want. So how do you get your products in front of millions of persons around the world? You say, hey, do you know any Amazon sellers that you can put me on to? Let's say you're doing health and beauty, you're doing something with hair. I do great hair products, but they're only in the local pharmacies. How can I get persons to see my product from around the world? You partner with someone who has an Amazon store, have them display your products in their store, then the sales start to come in. Wow. I mean, I never thought about how you could make this work. And everybody knows somebody in the States. You have auntie, cousin, brother, sister. Everybody knows somebody in the States. But how do you find someone who, who is a seller on Amazon? Do you just find somebody off the list and, and pick someone and, and approach them? How does that work? That's one way. I mean, think about the distribution route. Before, you would have to say, hey, I have... Let's say you want to get your product into Publix or Walmart or, or, or a TJ Maxx. You would have to find the person who is the buyer. Then you would have to contact them. You'd have to send samples. There's a whole process to it. But to do this, I mean, that's what I do. I do online training for thousands of online sellers across the world, right here from Jamaica. So I have a network of sellers who every day ask me, Barrington, where can we find good products? That's all they want. Once an Amazon seller finds good products and they can set up an exclusive with a manufacturer, they'll buy from you over and over and over again. That is what Amazon sellers want. The number one problem for Amazon sellers is finding consistent inventory that they can buy over and over again. Because sometimes they just go to a store, they may pick up something on the shelf and that's it. They can't find any more. They need to find a steady supply of good inventory. And that is what we do. We provide consulting for persons who are looking for, hey, is my product ready? Do, do I have a UPC? Do I have images? Do I have the ingredients on the back? Whatever you need, that is what we do. Help persons to connect with big sellers who will really take a lot of their products. If you take that approach to Barrington and you partner with another seller who is going to be the middleman for your product, then you leave the marketing up to the seller, don't you? You leave the marketing up to the person who has the account because there are so many, there's so much competition on Amazon. That's a great point. But let me tell you something. A lot of persons worry, it's called paralysis by analysis. So they analyze and analyze and analyze and never do anything. The key thing here is to take action. Why? Because when you get your products on Amazon, it's not that seller that is marketing your product. It's Amazon who is pushing that out to millions of persons around the world. So sellers can buy advertising and so forth to you know, do additional traffic to listings. But the key thing is your product is being marketed by Amazon. They spend millions of dollars every year to find the right place to find where people are. So that's what you want to do. So it's just like you taking your products to a trade show. You may have 10 sellers that come to you and you say, listen, I only want to work with two persons. So it's a similar concept. It's really like you're going to a trade show and you find three or four persons that you say, I'm going to leave you to sell my products. That's the key. I don't want you to bring the price down and you set certain parameters in order to be able to bring persons on. And that's what we do. We look for persons who are serious and connect them with sellers who are serious. Not just anybody who's going to throw their products up and maybe bring the price down. No, you want to have good products and you want to keep your standard very high. As somebody who uses Amazon myself, though, Barrington, if you're not in that top 10 on that first page, when you do a search on Amazon for a particular product, might as well almost 
forget about it. You want to be in the, and there are strategies for getting your product into that, that initial list that comes up when you do a search on Amazon. That's a great point. And that is why we work with the top tier of sellers, persons who know how to drive traffic, persons who know that the, the keywords, just the keywords that needs to be on your listing for persons to find it. So those are the kind of persons that we work with. Case in point, we do teas from Jamaica. There are thousands of teas online. What is your competitive advantage? Why are your teas going to be better than anybody else's? Those, I mean, these sellers know how to do it. They've been doing it for 15 years. So they understand Amazon. They understand how to get you on page one. So that is the key, being able to be on page one so you can get eyeballs on your listing. And not only eyeballs, because you just don't want people to be window shopping. You want buyers, persons who are going to take out a credit card and buy. So that, I mean, I love that question because a lot of persons ask me that. So how am I going to be sure that my product is going to be on page one? You can't be sure initially. You have to have a great product. You have to have like a really good selling proposition. Why choose me as opposed to the other thousands? But you cannot allow paralysis by analysis to make you analyze all that. You never take any action. You're going to let, listen, I have a good product. Let's do this. Let's not, I mean, we, you just have to take action. Before, when I was in Jamaica, I was like, how can this work? Will somebody really buy my product? Why buy mine as opposed to 50 others? When you ask those questions over and over in your head, it's like you, you psych yourself out and you never do it. So you have to just say, listen, can my product work? Yes, you go into that initial meeting. Let's bring it online. We have to try. Sometimes you try and you find a winner and you're just like, yes, let's rinse and repeat and let's get it on Amazon across the world. Is the word Jamaican a good keyword? So many people may be selling Easter bun, but if I put Jamaican Easter bun, no, that changes the game. Many people selling face masks, but now I'm selling a Jamaican face mask. Does that get good traction on Amazon or anywhere online? When you say something like that, that's the difference between your product being on page 10 and your product being on page one. Brand Jamaica. We have a brand here, but we don't know how to harness it. We don't know how to utilize it. When you have persons who put that in their keywords, you know, Jamaican black castor oil, Jamaican honey, people, it pops. People are just like, oh, there's honey from all over the world, but let me choose the Jamaican one. Oh, there's castor oil from all over the world, but I'm going to choose the Jamaican black castor oil. That's how you make your listings pop. That's what we call it. You have to have that unique selling proposition. Why would you want to buy mine as opposed to the thousands of others that are on there? We use Brand Jamaica for that. We use Brand Jamaica to drive that. As it relates to the marketing as well, you can also do your marketing outside of Amazon. So you set up your Instagram account, your Facebook page, your LinkedIn, your website, and direct people to the things that they should type in on Amazon in order to find your product. That's a good strategy, huh? Correct. And what you want to do is make sure that you're driving traffic, not to the general listing, but to your direct listing. Because you want, you know, the thing about it is, Kalila, persons will go on Amazon and buy your product for $50 more than what you sell it for on your website. Why is that? Trust. They trust Amazon. We know we buy on Amazon every day. So it's that trust factor because they trust Amazon. You're going to take out the credit card and you're selling it for $30 cheaper on your website. You're going to buy it on Amazon. Right. That is the key. So once you develop that true. trust with customers, it's an easy sell, no matter what the price is. That's so true, because I don't want to be giving any old website, random website, my credit card information. I don't know what you're going to do with that information. That is absolutely true. The trust factor is major when you're dealing with Amazon. But, but you were saying earlier that you not only uh, educate people about getting on Amazon, but other e-commerce sites as well. Give me some examples of those. Well, one of the major ones that we're on now is Walmart. We got, they contacted us about two years ago and said, hey, we saw you guys' performance on Amazon. On Amazon, we were in the top 25% of all their stores worldwide. And we're doing this from Jamaica. And they, they emailed us and said, hey, we see what you guys are doing. Would you mind coming to sell on Walmart online? I'm like, not too sure. But then we started to sell on Walmart. And I'm telling you, Walmart is just amazing in the traffic that they can drive. So now our Amazon store is competing with the Walmart store. So we do Amazon, Walmart, eBay, Shopify, Rakuten, all of the major online platforms. Because the, the thing about it is, I mean, now we're even selling stuff on Etsy. Because once you put all your listings up on all these platforms, 
there's a software that we use to aggregate everything. So we log into that one software and it tells us where the orders are coming from. So now we're able to pick, pack, and ship to customers all over the US. And we've actually added Amazon Global. So now we're on Spain, Italy, France, Japan, um, Spain, Italy, France, Germany, and the UK. So it's, it's something that it makes your head spin when you see the orders coming in because you know, listen, all you need to do is buy great products, add it to your store, rinse and repeat. So all the major platforms you're on. So I imagine, I imagine your company represents several Jamaican brands that are now selling online. Are you able to share with some of which ones? I can't people share may recognize? which of them, but the major tea brands, we, we do um, coffee, we do condiments, spices. You know, when you think about like something, an item like curry, one of the craziest things we've sold online is tambourine balls. No, if I was tamarind balls. Here, well, yeah, uh, trust me. If I'm uh, let's let, let's say I live in foreign for a while and I miss my tamarind balls, come on, no, I'm gonna order that on Amazon if it's there. Yes, I like how you think, and that is how you, we learn over the years. Think like the customer. You're in America, maybe you run off, you can't come back now, but guess what? You want some tamarind balls, and you see them on Amazon, and they're sixteen dollars for six. You're going to buy it. You're not going to think, wow, you're selling it for $16 to say, I could get this for $60 in Jamaica. You're not in Jamaica. Exactly. Travelers who come to, the, come to Jamaica, they, they're, they're on holidays, they get something really nice, and they go back home and they're like, hmm, I wonder where I can find this tamarind ball. First place they're going to go, default, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Find it, order, come. And that's one of the strangest things. And it's you know what? If we, sat down, if we sat down and said, you know what? Tamarind ball, that way sell online it would never sell because our mindset was wrong. But once you change that mindset so people are looking for it, you list that on there, you would be amazed at what happens when you see the orders coming in. You would be amazed. People ask you for, oh, I need a uh, tough crackers, ting. Everything sells online, everything. For people who would have been watching you just now and you know, thinking about ways to do it, and although it sounds good, can't bother with all the stress of trying to find a seller and going through all that. Your company offers that service. How can they contact you? It's easy. Askbarrington.com. And once you sign up, then we will contact you. We'll see. We have free consultations to look at your product, look at your brand, see where we can help you to get your product export ready. That's the key. If you just have something that's thrown together and it's not export ready, not really going to help you. So you have to get your product export ready. What is export ready? Mm -hmm. Meaning you have the barcode, that's key. Your product has to have a barcode. If you don't have a barcode, it's not hard. You can buy some barcodes. Also, Where do you buy barcodes? Online, barcodestalk.com. You go to barcodestalk.com and you're able to buy barcodes to go on your product. UPCs, that's what they call it. Barcodes, UPCs, same thing. So once you get the product export ready, it's just a matter of who do we connect you with? who's really good at selling hair products, who's really good at selling groceries. And we connect you with that person if, if, because we have a lot of clients now. So it's really, you know, you kind of get to, okay, I'm going to work with this person, I'm going to work with that person. But askbarrington.com and you what sign else? up on the form. What else do you need? You need the barcodes. What else do you need to get export ready? You need great images. So let's say you have a product that's grocery and you need to know bureau standards, must check your product, ensure that you have, you know, let's say, like for the UK, they don't do a lot of milk products. So you know that's a no-no, but you could do that in the US. US has you, your registration through FDA, Food and Drug Administration. It's an online application just so that they know what's coming into their country. They know the ingredients. And once you have all of that done, you can now start trading your products everywhere online in the US. So those are some of the main things that you're going to need. Making sure that your product is export ready, making sure that you can fill the demand. So if your product goes online and you start to get orders in, can you fill it? Are you going to need more people to help you work? And that's what I love about online. You can truly grow your business because now the exposure is not only to a couple of pharmacies in Jamaica, a couple of hospitals, I mean, a couple of supermarkets. You're talking about millions of people around the world. For those of you new to, to Money Moves JA, we did a couple of videos on how to get your products export ready. So I'm going to link them in the description box. I just want to encourage everybody that Despite what's going on, you know, we've been talking to persons about going online, going online, but now because of Corona, people are forced to go online. But guess what? One story that I have to share before I left, when I was going to school, 
our instructor said, what is guaranteed to everybody? And I want to leave you with that question. What is guaranteed to everybody watching this program? And what is that? Opportunity. The opportunity is no, but you have to seize that opportunity. Look for ways to become Absolutely. more creative and get your products out there. And there's another element to, to this online sales and marketing thing is the shipping. So how do you deal with the shipping portion of it? Do you use the Jamaica post office? Do you, use, do you have special services? How do you get your products to the customer abroad? Especially if you're retailing. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Why? Because I think that's what holds many persons back. Okay, so now I get the sale. How am I going to get it out? Do you know the best kept secret in Jamaica? Um, I, I said it at the uh, web workshop for Exim back in February, the Jamaica post office. Most persons think post office, post office, post office don't work. Post, I'm not sending letters. Oh. Post office don't work. Jamaica post is one of the best kept secrets when it comes to shipping products out of Jamaica. Because there's a service EMS. What they do is they partner with all the major carriers in big countries. So in the US, they partner with USPS. In Canada, they partner with Canada Post. In London, they partner with Royal Mail and Parcel Force. So you get your product there, they bring your product out, and then Parcel Force does the final leg delivery, or Canada Mail, Canada Post does the final leg delivery. So you're able to get your products from Jamaica to your customer four days. Four days. Yes, wow. you'll have to pay a premium, but four days you have to charge your price online. So otherwise, we use DHL when we're doing, when we want really fast shipment, we use DHL. But your volumes has to be right and your pricing has to be right. Because it doesn't make any sense to pay everything out in shipping. So you have to know, I'm selling a product that's going to be $60 online. My shipping is going to be $18. The cost of the product is another $15. You have to know your numbers so that you know that you're making a profit. Because making a sale doesn't equate to making a profit. And that's what you need to do. And my wife, that's what she handles all the accounting and all of that. So she knows, oh, you're spinning a wheel on this product or you're making a profit on this product. Thanks again, Barrington. All the best to you. Thank you too. That's it for this episode of Money Moves brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank. Check out their website, eximbankja.com. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe.